Hey, Llama here. Welcome to Preparing for Ark Survival Ascended. In this series, I started out fresh on the island on official PvE. This is Ark Survival Evolved, but I'm limited to only items and creatures available in the base game on the island to give a realistic perspective on what starting out on Ark Survival Ascended might be like. Now today, we're going to be heading to the snow. We packed our winter woolies. We're going to be taming a uh, Eutyrannus, uh, or hopefully a few Eutyrannus, so we can get ourselves some eggs, which will make us some extraordinary kibble, which will allow us to go and tame a Thyla. So, a little bit to do. <laughs> so we're going to take the Rhineo Natha that we tamed in the last video. Um, these guys are brilliant for taming um, Uties because the Ute can fear roar them. So, we're going to head off to the snow and see what we can find. Okay, here we are, heading into the cold area. Now, we do not want high level UTs. Um, look, wouldn't say no to a high level male, uh, but definitely uh, we want some low level females to tame. Um, and given that we're going to be taming with sort of prime meat, or hopefully if we find a sheep we can use some mutton, uh, then we're really looking for low levels um, at this early stage. Once, of course, we can get some extraordinary kibble going, then we can tame some higher level ones. Alright, here we go. We've got one coming up here. Let's just check its level, see what it is. Uh, yep, female level 5. Pretty in pink. Okay, that is perfect. Alright, so we don't have to worry about uh, this thing fear roaring us, so we can just hover above in the Rhineo and uh, pump tranks in it. The only thing we've got to worry about is it uh, running into the water or getting killed by stuff, like really. Um, okay, let's see. We kind of need to either coax it away from its uh, carnos or kill them, preferably. Um, oh, he's just... okay. Oh, and they followed. All right. Let's try and knock her out down here. Yeah, that's it. If you stay there, that's perfect. And get a few darts in you, and hopefully... Uh, the problem is on the Rhineo... In, I struggle, to be honest, shooting off of any flyer that you can shoot off of, um, because you get a certain uh, angle past that certain angle you can't shoot. And I tend to find you have to like disarm your weapon and then rearm it again to get a good bead on whatever it is you're trying to knock out. Which is why, <laughs> and I'm a really bad shot. Making it doubly hard. This one's only level 5, so I mean, it shouldn't take too much to knock out. It's just I'm terrible. Oh no, don't go in the water! Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, we're done. She's not getting out of the water. If I knock her out, she's going to drain. So, look, like I said, they're pretty common. Um, I think maybe we'll just go and see if we can find ourselves another one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Search continues. And there we go. Yeah, pretty common, like I said. There's another, it's another female level 5. Spot on. Alright, same drill as before. <laughs> There's no water near us this time, so hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, we'll just pump some arrows in here. Trank arrows. Yeah, you can roar all you like, love. My guy's not afraid of you. That's really, like, I mean, nothing that I'm aware of, uh, flyer-wise, um, can withstand the fear roar. Uh, once upon a time, wyverns um, were not able to be fear roared by the Ute, uh, but when they brought the crystal wyverns into the game in Crystal Isles, um, they could be fear roared because they were a bit smaller. Uh, and at some stage, and I'm not sure if it was when they did the breeding with wyverns, 
um, they changed it so that even the regular ones could be fear roared. So there's this uh, this girl's fear running there, uh, fear running, torpor running there. So uh, seems to have lost her. She's probably almost not dead. Um, so let's check the tame tracker. Just yeah, there you go. So she is not dead. She ran off and passed out. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. All right. Believe it or not, I found a sheep. So this is absolutely fantastic. There you go. Twenty-six raw mutton. That'll be more than enough for a level 5 UT. Alright. Now, I just want to make sure... Uh, I'm going to chuck... Let's chuck everything out of my inventory into the Rhino. I'm going to take the uh, mutton that I need seven pieces so that I can hop off the Rhino and whack it straight in the inventory of the UD and then fly off again before anything aggro's. Uh, I don't really want anything attacking her. Not because I'm worried about the taming effectiveness but just because she's only level five and she'll die really easily. So there we go. Hop on. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright. And now we wait. already. Almost tamed. 87%. One more bite should do it, I think. Oh, there we go. Tamed. Perfect. Alright. Now, of course, the other benefit of the Rhino is, even though we're not using cryopods, we can just pick this girl up Take us straight back to base. Here we go. <laughs> it just looks weird carrying <laughs> such a big thing. Alright, let's head back. Alright, it is now the next day. Uh, not in Ark, but in real life. And uh, I'm back on the hunt for more Udies. So, need to get more females and, of course, a male. And I'm out at night, uh, now obviously it's a bit cooler at night in the snow, but the benefit is the UDs are pretty easy to spot. And that is because, there we go, you can see the yellow glow around the carnos uh, when the UD does the courage roll. Alright, what have we got? They were 25. Okay, that'll do. I'll take that one. Again, easy knockout on the Rhino. Just take it from up in the air. Just got to hope that the Mammoth doesn't do too much damage and kill it. It's good that it's um, it's kind of preoccupied. So. Go. Got, yep, now it's interested in me. That's okay. This one could take a few more arrows um, because it's a higher level, so it's not going to be quite as easy to knock out as the level 5. But we'll persevere. I very much doubt it's going to wander off and just drop. Now, the disadvantage of doing this, obviously, in the dark is that when they talk <laughs> poor run, they're a little harder to find. Now on, oh don't go off the edge, oh, seriously, now on Ark Survival Evolved normal sort of play, and I know that's what we're playing on, but um, keeping in mind in Ark Survival Ascended, I don't believe we will have uh, net guns available, uh, so I'm not playing with net guns, but if, uh, if net guns were available, these become a lot easier because effectively you can 
pump a few uh, trank arrows into them and then just before they start top or running uh, you just net them uh, and then you can shoot them while they're netted and finish knocking them out and you don't have to play this <coughs> game of hide and seek that I'm playing at the moment uh, it's weird that it's dark when you're down closer to the surface and then when you fly up in the air it lightens up a bit no, so it hasn't wandered off and dropped like the other one did. Uh, we're just going to have to keep looking, I guess. Oh, is that it there? Oh, it's really, that's really weird, that lighting effect where... Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Can we... Even with my incredibly poor crossbow skills, can we take it down? Oh, that's a miss probably only going to take, because it's torque or running, it's probably only going to take another maybe two or three hits, but it's running around. Uh, hey, there we go, we got it, we got it. I don't know if we hit it after it uh, knocked out. I don't think we did. Alright, so we're going to race back to base, get ourselves some prime meat, and uh, come back and tame that guy up. First, we'll do a quick stand stop, and then we'll be off. Now we're heading back to base, but this is not the same UT. So, <laughs> because the Rhino is not good enough to kill anything, uh, I've been going backwards and forwards to the base, grabbing a Rex, going through the swamp, getting prime meat, flying back to tame the UT. And unfortunately, um, a few of them have woken up uh, before I get back. So, not ideal. Um, I finally got myself another one here though. And um, now we drop this one back at the base and uh, head off and continue to get more. So we continue to tame a couple more, including a male, and now I think we're good to go. Alright, I guess also time for a quick Rex update. So we've been breeding Rexes in the background. We've got some over there maturing. I'm just going to grab a drink of water. And then we'll head out the back and... Um, I'll show you what actually I need to... I've got some babies here on in the middle of raising. Get rid of all this stuff. Okay, blueprints in there. Alright, that's better. Ah. Now I've just remembered I had Rex eggs, eggs incubating. And while I've been off taming Yudis, they've hatched and died. Oh dear. Alright, never mind. Okay, <laughs> worst things could happen. Um, you know those are going to be the ones with the mutations, don't you? Alright, let's grab these ones. These are, um, these are adolescents, so they're almost fully grown. Uh, and I just need to get them back on the food troughs again. Uh, so I've got my fridges here with my cooked meat in there, ready to go. And what I tend to do, the fridges will hold 80, but I tend to put like 60 in there because that's about a food trough's worth and I can carry it and still move. Uh, so let's chuck these Rexes out. So we've got these ones are almost raised. The ones out the front that you saw are fully raised. Um, and then we've got... Oh, an analogy those ones over there you can see they're the ones I'm using for the breeding so we haven't tamed anymore these are all just ones that we've bred and raised so we're working on the army in the background um, now to be fair I'm a lot quicker at playing the game than I am at editing the videos so <laughs> I've um, in the background while in between videos um, I've done quite a lot of Rex breeding and raising um, and the action on video has been pretty limited to be fair. Right, so I'm just going to carry on filling up these troughs and get these Rexes going. There we go, we've got our Udys uh, crammed in where our fairies were before. Don't really need the fairies anymore. Uh, because we've got the Rexes producing Rex eggs, which make the exceptional kibble. 
and as you can see in here, uh, we have plenty. So we've got plenty of regular kibble, with lots of Rex eggs. Um, we've still got lots of Theory eggs, uh, so we're good for those. And we've got Moss Chops eggs um, coming out of our ears. Uh, plenty of exceptional kibble already. Um, we're pretty good to go. Uh, the UDs are all in there. I don't think the RSPCA would be too happy about that, but uh, never mind. Uh, hopefully they're not going to come calling. It's time to start making some kibble. So we've got our eggs producing, but in order to make extraordinary kibble, we're going to need honey. So we've got a bear with us. Uh, now, unfortunately, we lost that beehive that we had the uh, platform leading up to. Uh, that was way back at the beginning of the series. But I have a plan B. So we're gonna. I've got a uh, tree platform here down in the redwoods. Uh, right next to Green Ob, and we are going to build a platform up to a honey, uh, a hive, and use the bear to grab. Now the bear will grab 15 honey out of a beehive, whereas if I grab it with myself, my own hands, I'll only get five, uh, and <laughs> and I almost die. So the uh, the bear is a much better method. Okay, there's a beehive there, nice and close. Uh, now I've got a paraser, a racer there, um, with a platform saddle on it that uh, I was going to use, but I don't know if I'm going to need to use it. So um, I did another video on how to get bee honey without taming a bee uh, using the racer, and um, I'll, uh, I'll leave a link to uh, to that video if you're interested. But um, today I don't think we'll need to use that method. Uh, we'll just use the bear and we'll build ourselves another platform up to the beehive. That's the plan anyway. Okay, yep, nothing in the bear. Let's grab, we should have stuff here. Yep, cool. Nice, there's the stuff for our platform. Uh, don't know if we've got enough ramps. We might have to uh, improvise a little bit. Let's see how we go. Come on, Mr. Racer, get out of the way. Mrs. Racer, I should say. All right, let's head over to the beehive. I, just, I must admit, I love the bears. They're very underutilized uh, creature, I think, in, uh, in Ark. All right, let's clear ourselves. A uh, bit of a clear path out in the bottom of the tree here. Put these bushes out the way. Oh, uh, just seeing. Oh, there's pillars around here. Am I going to be able to place this? No. Oh. Alright, okay, so we've got two options. One, we can go and find another beehive where hopefully there aren't pillars around it. Um, or, no, do you know what? We'll go back to. Let's use the racer. Uh, now, this is the entire reason why I built this um, this tree platform uh, was because I was planning on, I was planning to do this anyway. To be fair, so on the racer we build a little structure on there. So I need three pillars. Uh, I've got six. We're just going to place a three pillar high. That snap. Yep. Nice. Two. Three. Yep, we're going to get our ceilings and place them on top. And we're going to place that one in the middle and one either side of it. Like that, and like that. There we go. Alright, and that is where we're going to put the bear. Now, in the video that I would have put a link to, um, I was using cryopods, so I was simply going up to the uh, tree with the racer. Uh, climbing up a ladder onto that platform at the top uh, and uncryopodding the bear. Uh, but because I'm not using cryopods on this playthrough, I've got to be a little bit more creative, and that's why I picked this spot for the tree platform. Because you'll notice, whilst it's nice and low here and I can get my ramp down, uh, then we're on a bit of a slope, so I can. the, <laughs> the uh, height is adjustable. So if I work the racer around this side, then I'm lower. There we go. 
And now I should be able to hop off the racer. Let's go around back up the ramp. Nice. And now we should be able to place a ramp that connects that pretty much with our tree platform. There we go. Brilliant. Now, if everything goes according to plan, I should now be able to just walk the bear up that ramp onto the platform. Come on, slowpoke. The thing is, if I do a sprint run, <laughs> it gathers momentum really quickly. It's going to end up running off the edge, so... Slow and steady wins the race in this case. There we go. Bear on platform. Nice. There's another bear underneath. Let's try not to aggro that if we can. There's, oh, okay. Didn't really want to land on the ground. No, he didn't see us. He did not see us. Good. Alright, now I just need to be careful not to snag the bear, my bear, on uh, anything that's going to knock it off of that platform. So we'll be, we'll be a little careful here. Head over to the beehive and hopefully our three pillars are the right height. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Beautiful. All right. Now, I need to make, uh, I need to make some ladders. So I've probably got the materials there. Yes, I do. Let's make, let's make five ladders. Don't think we'll need five. Probably only need two, actually, to be fair. All right. Now, what we're going to do here uh, is I'm probably going to do a honey for now, honey for later. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll grab, I'll get the... Um, we get the bear to harvest the hive, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy the hive with the bear, and I'm going to tame the bee. And then I can take a beehive home with me, back to the base. So, let's get our ladders up. Now, our trick here, you've got to get them on the outside snap point. It's a real pain to do while he's standing on the racer platform. Get it to work. There we go. That's it. Yeah, nice. All right, one more ladder down. Uh, oh, the next step, point down, please. There we go. That's it. Brilliant. Okay, we should be able to climb up that ladder onto the platform, onto the bear. Gonna just whistle passive so that when the bees aggro on me, uh, the racer doesn't lose his mind. And there we go, 15 giant bee honey, thank you, with the alternate attack. And then with the primary attack, we'll start whacking the beehive. There we go, bees are going to attack us. They won't dismount us because we're on the bear. Just keep one at a time, we're going to hit the beehive. It's almost done. There we go. Now we're going to wait for the queen bee to get out of the way because I don't want to kill her. Yep, now I can kill the other bees. Brilliant. Okay, nice. So we've got 15 honey in the bag. I'm going to put some bug repellent on. I'm going to put that kibble. I'm using regular kibble. Bees tame with simple kibble. Um, but I've got heaps of regular kibble, so... The ichthyornis have been popping eggs in it like you wouldn't believe. Uh, now, did I hear? I thought I heard it. When you're looking for the bee, <laughs> they tend to vanish pretty quickly, to be honest. But it'll be buzzing around here somewhere. And I generally find if you don't have a tech helmet, then the best way of finding it is to use your ears. So you've got to kind of turn your volume up. If you've got a headset or something to wear, it's ideal. And just listen out for the uh, buzzing and obviously as it's going around it kind of poops out um, other bees that, uh, that will attack you if you get too close to them let's not get too close to that bear um, yeah they will attack you if you get too close to them uh, the bug repellent helps 
and the fact that I'm wearing ghillie helps as well. Uh, you can tame these bees with rare flowers, but uh, kibble's much better because it's a single um, feed with kibble, uh, even on one times. So uh, rare flowers, uh, I think it's it's more than one anyway. There he is. I can see him. Brilliant. Eh, oh, almost. Not quite. Let's try again. See if we can get it. And there we go. We got a bee. Pick it up to obtain the beehive. And we have honey for now, honey for later. Nice. Alright, time to make some kibble. Get the honey out of the bear. Thank you. Put the honey in here. Already got everything else in there. Good to go. Uh, actually, we could probably breed these UTs again. Get another four eggs. Uh, and make as much so we don't waste any honey. Make as much kibble as we can. Let's put this guy on mating. we go, Extraordinary Kibble. Good for thylatine. Okay, so I'm walking over to the Redwoods on the Rex. Um, I'm going to head over. So, I'm, so here's how I do thylas. I generally, I just, it takes a long time. You just walk around the Redwoods um, looking for them. Uh, I tend to take a Rex and a wear Gilly because there's, um, I find that you don't get grabbed off of a Rex by the Thyla uh, and you can sort of walk right under them. Um, now what you need to do is on the big thick redwood trees um, is you just look for a silhouette of a Thyla. Uh, they'll be sort of part way up the tree, I'll show you one when we see one. And uh, if it's a good level, you tame it, and if it's not, you kill it. Ah, there we go. We got one. Exactly what I was talking about. Okay, that one's a level 15, so we definitely don't want to tame that. I'm not wasting my newly found extraordinary kibble on that. Uh, best way to get rid of these, shoot them out of the tree. So I hit him with a shotgun, and he will drop down on the floor, and then you can kill him with the Rex. Uh, unless Ark decides <laughs> that this thyla is going to defy gravity. Oh, really? This is a great example of what never ever happens. Alright, we'll just kill him with the shotgun. <laughs> Thank you, Ark. Really helping. <laughs> Saber tooth. Whee! Oh, okay. There's <laughs> so that's why we're on the Rex and why we're wearing Gilly. Ah, level 40. Another trash one. All right, let's just back up a little bit so it doesn't pants us when we get off the Rex. Uh, okay, so let's see if this one's a uh, a hover thyla like the last one. No, there we go. So that's what they normally do. Yeah, they drop to the ground, and then you can hop down and kill them. And obviously when you kill them, you get the Hook Claw, which is one of the boss tributes. Uh, which we didn't get from the other one, because we killed it with a shotgun. Now I spent hours looking around the Redwoods for beautiful specimens, like this level 5 female. Uh, and basically just, you know, night time, uh, sit on the wrecks, wait for it to become day, and then go again uh, and continue to do that over and over again. Lots of fun. Oh, there's another one. 125. Okay. Look, it's not ideal, but I'm going to take it. I've uh, I've had enough of walking around the redwoods for one day. Um, so let's kill all the stuff around the area. I'm going to build a trap right here in front of it, uh, and then I'm going to get it down off the tree and catch it in the trap. 
make sure there's nothing too dangerous in the area. Now, the trap I use for this, I use a uh, pitfall trap for most things. For thylers, I don't. And you can see the ground here is not very level. Uh, and thylers are very opportunistic tame. You have to tame them where you find them. Uh, because you don't want to have to kite them. So I make a trap out of pillars. Um, this is one, so I'm just going to get all this heavy stuff out of my inventory. Uh, because I want to be a bit quicker on my feet if I can be. Alright, so I basically make like a square with the pillars. Uh, and th the good thing about thylers is they don't really jump out of the trap. So even if you did a pit full trap, you can do one that's one more high and they won't get out. Uh, so I'm going to, here we go, go like that. So I do three pillars across uh, and then three pillars deep. So we're building like, oh, that's not, that's not working out very well. Uh, you do need to, so I always bring extra pillars <laughs> so I can make it as high as I want. Uh, and I'm giving it a bit of extra height on. No, so you've got to try and find a snap point. Giving you a bit of extra height on a pillar may even allow you to place a pillar next to it. So there you go. So there's our three. Uh, now, if I can get a snap point there. Oh, is that it? There we go. There. Yeah, nice. Uh, I don't think it's going to give me one there, so I might just have to just place it. Yeah, looks good. Oh, I get a snap point there to that one. That'll do. Good. And now, so we basically leave the thylet in there, and then we whack a pillar at the back in the middle. And that'll stop him getting back out again. Uh, they're, they're pretty easy to trap. Uh, this is not a hard exercise. Um, you just you might have to tank a couple of hits from the thyla, uh, but generally you should be okay. Now I should be able to sort of shoot him from here. He's pretty well positioned for that trap. So if I shoot him with a trank arrow, uh, I can stand in the trap, get him to come towards me. Um, and basically uh, get him to hit me. Get the Rex on passive. Nice. Don't want him attacking. There we go. Perfect. Who says I'm not going to add shot with the crossbow? And I thought I should. Okay. <laughs> so the Thyla should come running towards me. Um, he obviously didn't. Alright, that's less than ideal. <laughs> Alright, where'd he go? Did he run? 125, so camp for talk or running. Let me maybe he didn't see me because I got the ghillie gear on? I don't know. Oh dear. Oh, there he is. He's just over there chilling. Alright, uh, did we hit him? I think we did. Is he interested? Oh, he is. Right, let's go. Whoa! Okay. Like I said, might have to do tank a couple of hits. <laughs> That's a couple more than I planned. Oh, there goes the ghillie gauntlets. All right, he's in the trap. So that was uh, not what I call a textbook execution. All right, let's just whack that pillar there. Nice. Nah, he won't get out of that, or she won't get out of that, I should say. Okay, now we can knock her out. <laughs> yeah, not exactly a textbook uh, execution of the trap, but it'll do. Now, yeah, just hit her a few times with the crossbow. Hopefully won't take too long for her to uh, knock out. And as you can see, she's not even trying to get it out of the trap. She just stands there looking at you spinning around in a circle sometimes pretty standard uh, for a uh, thyla getting a little bloody but that's okay 
crossbow should be fine for these. I don't think you, you don't really... Oh, seriously? Oh, gee. Okay. Alright. Well, points for planning. Did I come out here with a almost broken crossbow? See, see, here's the thing. I've been out here for hours looking for a thyla. <laughs> and I don't... I bring a broken crossbow with me. Uh, okay, all right. Come on, Lana. Think Plan B. Let's make a regular bow. Uh, where's a regular bow? Can't fix the crossbow, so I need a smithy for that. Uh, Fiber wood. Okay, good. We can get that. That's easy enough. Let's get some wood. Nice. Get some fiber. Good. Is that enough? Can't remember how much I needed. Oop, need some more fiber. Twice as much fiber, thanks. Okay, I was gonna say, there we go. Not getting any fiber, just berries. Always the way. Okay. Uh, see, now, he, here I was saying you wouldn't need the uh, long neck rifle and trank darts. The crossbow would be fine. Unfortunately, the bow is going to do even more damage, so she's she's a bit hurt from the crossbow. Now, why is that not working? The bow's not working. Why is it not letting me shoot with it? Oh, seriously? Oh, there are so many things about this game I hope they fix with Ark Ascended. It's just not letting me shoot. Even if I deselect it and reselect it, it's not working. I put it on my hotbar, does that help? No. It makes no difference. What on earth? Is it the trank arrows? What if I use regular arrows? No. Select something else and then go back to the bow. Oh, now I can shoot. Okay. Let's put the tranks back in. Oh, I'm going to need to make some more of those. I've only got six. No, still can't use it again. What if I select something else, the bowler, and then back to the bow. And now I can use it. Oh, that is the weirdest thing ever. Okay. Never come across that one before. Well, that must be an Xbox bug. Now, I'm out of arrows. Alright, need to make some more trank arrows. That's okay. I brought arrows and I brought narcotics. So we can. Uh... <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is such a stupid bug. So every time I want to shoot the bow and arrow, I have to select something else, then deselect it and select the bow. Alright. Let's knock this girl out. Hopefully without killing her. Oh, she's really bloody. Oh, and she's dang. Oh, thank goodness for that. Alright, that's a relief. So, let's hop back on the wrecks for safety and have a look and see what we need to tame. 7 Extraordinary Kibble, going to take 22 minutes on one times, and it's knocked down for 17 minutes. Okay, I have one narcotic, and I need 22. <laughs> now, you may recall I made a whole load of extra Trank Arrows. I have 55 of those left, and no narcotics. <laughs> so, guess what? I'm picking narco berries. <laughs> After all that fuss, this guy's are bad to tame in. <laughs> um, so once it tames, we're just going to demolish the trap and then we'll uh, walk her home. There we go. Successful tame. Thank you. Alright, so let's pull the trap down and um, then I'm going to get her to follow me uh, while I ride the Rex and 
to get home. Not too bad stats. That's that's not bad for a uh, 125 actually. And here we go, almost home. Thyla in tow. Wow, gee, well we got a lot done there. We tamed uh, we tamed Udis. We got UD eggs to make ourselves some extraordinary kibble. We got uh, we got bee honey. We got ourselves a beehive. Uh, and we tamed ourselves a decent level thyla as well. So, whew, that was a uh, that was a bit of a hard grind, but we got a fair bit done there. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, drop us a like. Uh, maybe subscribe if you like the content. You want to see more, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Lama, and I'm out of here.